You see them coming and going right there. They didn't appear to be in the attic. We do have access to the attic or around about where they are. Um, but I think they're in that headspace above the door here. Um, this house, this old house is getting ready to be torn down. Well, actually, I think they're going to burn it. At the moment, it is uh, being reclaimed and emptied out for, I guess, whatever the people that own it can get. Wood-wise, it's an old house. It's been added on a bunch of times. Pretty, pretty oddball layout, but I think that's probably because it was added on to a bunch. See where they've already started to take stuff down. Let me zoom out a little bit there. Um, the metal, metal roof tiles on on top of real, really old, cool wooden shingles. Obviously, it's overgrown. There isn't. There isn't a square inch of it that's level anymore. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing this here in the next couple of days, next week sometime. Probably. Uh, shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. A lot of woods and pasture, and we passed a whole bunch of goldenrod and everything else on the way up here. Uh, I guess technically down here from where I live, not too far away. Um, real, real nice area. Anyway. That's what it looks like. That's what we're going to be doing. Inside view, the same area. The bees are pretty much right up, right up there. Like I said, you could. We were up in the attic earlier. I didn't hear anything up there. Um, so if they are, well, we'll at least be able to get to them because it's actually a pretty big space up there. May actually. I don't know if the light's going to mess with the shot. Might be easier to come in here and pop the panels off on the inside. Maybe work in the shade a little bit as well. Uh, it'll probably be a command decision. These panels I know for sure will come off a lot easier than the wood outside. So that may be what we end up doing. It's a, yeah, huge kitchen table here. Woohoo!
Say what? Some what? Tractor? Yeah, a tractor for that. Sure. Cool. So, have we gotten everything you lose to put the boards? I mean, what do you mean by lose? I mean, I got everything off except these, uh... Okay. Uh, yeah, After some destruction, we have. Oh goodness! We have located the bottom of the hive in this cavity above the door space. We'll try and. Focus there. Little vacuum on the bottom. On these guys and. Uh, start working our way up uh, carefully so we'll see so far they seem to be okay but I haven't really got into them too good yet so you know probably get eaten alive all right yeah let's see I moved for a spot actually I may move this thing because I bet I mean, I'm going to be blocking it, but I better get a better Actually, shot over here. If you want to put it back here, or do you want me to move this wood and you put it in the corner right here to space it? It's got to be far enough away to get a good shot. Okay, okay. there we go. All right, so y'all can see what kind of what we're working with here. Um, 
I've got part of it exposed. It looks like it goes and only attaches at the top, which is nice because these are all tongue and groove boards and it'd be a real booger if uh, I had to scrape comb off each one as I went. I think they're gonna be good. But uh, so far, so good. Good disposition. Um, oh, oop, there goes the vacuum hose. Walk up here real quick. Get an idea. It's queen right. I see eggs. They got cat brood. There, there's no drone. At, uh, well, I say there's no drone larva. There's a big piece of drone comb right there that doesn't have anything in it. So I think they've probably given up for the year, which is pretty typical, um, you know, late September. So far, so good. Like I said, they're not too mean. And we'll set the camera over here and y'all see what I'm talking about. Shorts, t-shirt, and a mosquito net. Um, the dirt rooster would probably say something about that. I'll, uh, I'll be sure to give him a, a shout out a shout out at the end of the video we'll, we'll do a, a takeaway we'll run this for a minute i'm going to pull down that board and uh, vacuum up some more bees just trying to keep their numbers down as i go hopefully the audio turns out okay i uh, everybody tells me i mumble it's probably an accurate statement so i may experiment later with the uh, earbuds but I, I left them in the truck so that's uh, not, not for right now uh, I should add that it's a pretty cool day. I don't know if it's raining outside or not right now. But um, no, Matt, Matt tells me it's not. He's picking through the bones of the house looking for neat stuff. But it's a good bit cooler here than it is at uh, my house, even though we're only about 15 miles away, 20 miles away. And further south, somewhat ironically, but we're kind of out in the country. And it's probably tough. Now the rain zone, I mean, it's like cloudy with like very light misty stuff around here, but all the, the bulk of the rain is hey, west temperature. Port deposit. Hold on, I gotta pull up the weather. I gotta find my signal sweet spot. Um, hurricane! Uh, it is 70, 70, 71 degrees. I was gonna say, it's kind of pretty cool. The bees are kind of clustered up. So I'm with, a, with a cool breeze and a 50% chance of rain. Nice. I like how that rain all of a sudden appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, no, it's supposed to be 70, what, 73 and sunny? Yeah, 73, well, 73 and uh, cloudy, partly cloudy. cloudy, but then that goddamn yeah, the hurricane beta, and? You can say that. Look, child, we're going to hurt people that are stupid. <laughs> The word necessarily anyone. They just oh no, words they get hurt some people. people. Words hurt a lot of people because they're weak-minded.
Alright, getting there, sorry I didn't cut the video on sooner, the, um, well as you can hear the BVAC is, uh, the battery charge is dying on it, fortunately I brought my Milwaukee ba uh, battery powered vacuum and I have duct tape, so we have rigged something up, however the Milwaukee batteries do not last very long, so I am basically running the Alright, I can't do much about it at the moment. Well, I mean, we might get a ladder up there in a minute if we can get one there. I don't know, it's pretty high. Anyway, trying to hustle now, so. Taking a few hits in the jacket and the gloves. Well, the gloves really, not so much because I've been getting stung, just to...
them on. I'm just taking the, the cones as they come off, shaking them up front down in this nuke that I got sitting here. And kind of just resting everything there. We have time when we're done. Before we leave, I'll frame up, uh, frame some of it up. But that's kind of a yes thing. We're kind of running, running a little bit behind as it is. As with everything in life. Uh, <laughs> Matt was pulled up the truck. In the power inverter, we're going to see if we can plug in the VVAC and charge it and run it simultaneously. I don't need to use my uh, other. Get it framed up here. I'll frame it up the house and drop the bees back on later. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off for some hustle. Uh, not much to see. If I catch the queen, I'll, I'll get a get a video clip of that. If not, well, we'll hope that she's in the bucket. All right, I've got to do a uh, intro and outro for the bee video here. So most of this is probably not gonna even make it onto the cut, but it might just for smiles and grins. Um, Ran into some technical issues with the cordless equipment yesterday afternoon that, that kind of prolonged the experience and put a, put a rush on things towards the end. You might hear me mention a little bit about that in the video. I'll explain a little bit further. Um, BVAC battery started to die at about 2 o'clock. It had been running pretty solid since, I don't know, 12, 1230. Um, when I say started to die, like it, it stopped sucking bees in started to die. It had slowed down a lot over that period of time. I did, however, have my Milwaukee uh, M18 little portable cordless shop back, which is a workhorse. Uh, unfortunately, you, you if you have the really big, expensive Milwaukee battery, you only get 30 minutes of run time. We didn't, we didn't know that ahead of time. Um, but I had a charger and I had multiple four and five amp hour batteries with me, so we just kind of hot potatoed it and when everything was charging, I, I took a break and um, framed up some of the comb and kind of tidied up a little bit. Uh, all in all, I think we wrapped it up around six. Uh, what ultimately ended up happening at the end, uh, I was like, cut the comb down. And I shook a lot of the bees into a nuke box uh, without realizing I left the bottom open, so a bunch of them ran out on the floor and probably back up in the hive or in the windows. I think if they were in the window, they got backed up. But, uh, <laughs> That didn't work out quite as slick as I thought it was going to work out. You know, everything works out better in your mind. And we had a cluster outside, and so to keep them from coming back in, I sprayed uh, honeybee gone in the space where they, they'd occupied in the two adjacent spaces to keep them from running behind boards that we had pulled down. And that worked pretty well. Unfortunately, what that did do was run them up into the attic space they'd previously been ignoring. 
and uh, when I went outside to vacuum up, what, what had started out as a pretty big cluster of bees on the outside wall, it was a much smaller cluster, and every time I stuck the uh, paddle in the hole by the, by the attic, a whole bunch would come out, go, you know, wondering what was going on, and uh, ended up having to go climb through the attic and get those guys, probably a two softball-sized clusters of bees up there. I don't, I don't know if the queen was there or not. The way they were behaving towards the end, I think she ended up in the vacuum, but I'm not positive. Um, we'll find out, I suppose. Got everything loaded up, got home, probably about 6.30. Had uh, anticipated originally this being a much shorter job. Didn't realize at the time that the tongue and groove wood paneling that was on one wall was actually on all the walls behind the, uh, the real thin paneling that was up. So that was a bit of an unanticipated uh, time sink. It wasn't, wasn't terrible. Probably added about an hour to the front end of the job. Um, would have been nice not to have to deal with that. Hindsight being what it is, I might have pulled more down and not worked up so slow. But I had pretty good luck with that that approach, I think. So, you know, I can't be totally upset. All in all, I think we got most of them. I got all the comb down. Um... And I think in another, if it doesn't make the cut, I'm going to include it here. The building that they're, that those bees came out of is going to be raised in a month or two, pushed into a big pile and set on fire. Um, it's a, I believe it's an old log cabin that's been added on to in about five different directions. And at one point, it was uh, probably a pretty, pretty cool little place, but disrepair and time have, have certainly taken their toll. And... The floors all head in different directions, and the walls head in different directions, and there's a just a metric ton of termite damage, and it's, it's kind of unfortunate, but those things happen uh, anyway. So that was um, we'll chalk that up as a cutout for experience. It wasn't a paying job; it was kind of a, a buddy deal. A friend of mine was like, "Hey, we got bees over here in this wall. You want to come get them? We're going to burn the house down." I was like, "Okay, well, I'll come check it out. Do I have to put anything back? No. Oh, okay. Well, that's infinitely more appealing." <laughs> So that's, um, that's how that one ended up. And for the most part, their disposition was pretty good till, till probably around the time the vac started slowing down because I think that made them a little bit mad. And they, uh, that's, you'll see in the video, one minute I'm wearing a t-shirt and a veil and the next minute I got the jacket and the gloves and everything on. Um, they weren't really stinging my hands. They, they, they tend to avoid the nitrile gloves that I wear, but the... <laughs> Little rubber band strap that holds the sleeve up they will sting that and that will go right through the rubber band and right through the nitrile glove and so I put the regular gloves on and was just really careful with it um, you know it was a good time 